G'day YouTube, it's Hagan. My name is The Wolf for 007. Welcome to Wolfred's PC World at Lakeside Cottage and Lock Sport. Now, what I have today to unbox is an Asus HD 7970. I do have, um, in the moment running in my system, the Asus HD 6970, but I'm not too happy with that. Okay, I want to upgrade it, basically. Uh, I was thinking what, what I want to upgrade it to, and I wanted to get something like this. I also got today, um, female HDMI cable to a male uh, male, male display port uh, display port connector now <coughs> my HDMI lead is going to be too short for what I want to wear or want to hook my TV up to so that might not be hooked up today tonight but I'll try to hook my other monitor up to it and I got two of the <coughs> two of these cables both uh, especially two male display port cables one is going to be for one of the three, mon two of the three monitors I've got set up, which will have they will have this running in it, and so they basically have two of those hooked up. You can only get one in the box, which is good and bad. But um, I want to have two of my three monitor system, which I've got from Samsung, hooked up to this. Then I'll have the you know, the TV hooked up to the other. And another cable, or directly to one of these, and to the other one. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. I might have to get another one of these, but a female connector in here, so I can actually run that lead to the computer, and then run a female to there, female to there, I should say, and have the male. Well, I'll have to have a look sort of do. Anyway, let's get this unboxing out of the way. Let's have a look at the box. It's the top of the box. I don't know, I do like the design, I like how it looks. I like how they've done these type of pictures. They've got the matte finish there and the shiny there. It looks like a sticker, almost. Okay. It's the top, I'll have a look at the back. If you want more detailed um, unboxing, I'll go with Linus Detective, because he does probably the best unboxings I've ever seen. And he gives details of what products he does. So, let's have a look at this box, shall we? Open it up. It's massive. I have not seen what's inside this box. Okay, there we go. Comes out a big black box. <coughs> I might even actually do crossfire with both of them. You never know. But that might be interesting. I might need a better board for that. As before, comes a big phone. There we go. And we'll take this out. That must be all the accessories. I'll take the foam off the top. Drop that out of the way. I've got to pull everything. I'll turn everything off tonight. Pull everything apart. I'll take everything out. It's bloody easy to do it that way. This box is bloody huge. Ah, no good to me. But it could be useful. I could find a baby female. Here. Okay, that's all out the way. Have a look at the accessories. Okay. Designed for moss cooling during L and 2 o'clocking. I'm not quite sure about that. What that is. It's just designed for some cooling if you're clock overclocking it. And except before you got the crossfire brew. Now these, I think they should design these black. Being honest with you, make a nice um, look on there. It's got crossfire written on it, but I'd have a Zeus written on it or something like that, or Republic of Gamers. Something that's going to make this sound, because that looks, to me, that looks shocking in a case. Okay, and done. You're spending over 500 bucks on a graphics card, and they throw this tacky looking thing in there. Come on, Zeus, get your act together. Make something that's going to make it look good for people to put in the case and show off the, in the interior of the case and show off the graphics cards. Like if I had two of these monsters in one of the newer cases, I don't want something like this tacky to be seen. Can you see that there? It just looks tacky. How about a black thing? Nice black even with the Republic of Games on there and Zeus written on there. You have Crossfire still written on it. But something that's going to look better than basically brown. 
Okay, um, that's the only thing I'm disappointed about that one. You have <coughs> HMI cable plug. If you want to plug, if you plug that up into a TV, you can plug that straight to there. That goes straight to your normal port. And as I said before, when I'm talking about tacking, these are good if you want to re practice your re-sleeving. Okay, um, that's about it. I would not use. I would not use this stuff in my computer because what I've cables I've got hooked up are nicely sleeved and they look really beautiful. This looks tacky. I mean, for God's sakes, I'd like them to spend some money on not just the card itself, but also on the stuff you come with it. <coughs> That's my own personal opinion. Uh, I don't have anybody else. Now, the accessories that come with this. Okay, get us. VGR. I've probably got the latest stuff already in the computer, but I'll have a look what's on here. Um, this card's not that... It's, it's pretty old already, I think, still. It's actually... Yeah, in computer terms, it's probably as old. Now, all the explains... I like to admit, this is, they're improving in this a little bit, which is pretty good. Because again, giving coloured photos, which I'm actually happy with that. They're giving plug ideas how to set up it, where it's going to be hooked up to. Um, if you're still using... If you're still using that, I'm surprised. If you're going to spend this much money on the card, you don't want to use this type of plug, I should say. Here, the blue ones. <laughs> um, yeah. If you've still got that set and the monitor and you're spending money on this, keep yourself a bloody good monitor. No, don't get this crap. Don't use the crap. Uh, that's it for English. One page. The rest is in all these other different languages, I think. So, at least they cover all the different languages in here. Pretty simple, pretty explained story. No sticker though. Huh. No. And then come then supply with a sticker. Now that's a bit annoying. You get a sticker in the mother you get a sticker with the motherboard, you get anything for the uh, thing. Can you, can you put like stickers and that on the case and that I like that idea because you it says what you have in your computer case now, right? So if you're trying to sell or something, you're building a system that you want to sell, you'll um, design it in such a way as where you can go, okay, people can just look at the case and go, okay, oh, that's what's in the case, all right? And you can actually have a picture just like that. Now, let's have a look at this beautiful baby. This thing is huge. When I'm talking huge, I'm talking huge. My God. I could pull the other one out of the system and show you at the same time, but I can't. <laughs> that thing is huge. Two eight port plugs, which is right here. The other thing I was a bit worried about, because I wanted to make sure it did have the eight port, port pl uh, eight plugs. And actually in every description that I saw, it didn't show it. They're reflective, um, this is good. These fans, they do actually work quite well. My graphics card does not, 69.7 doesn't get that too hot. Um, there we go. Yeah, the plugs you get in there. You get two normal plugs and they're all the, um, what do you call them, plugs? Um, HD, yeah, HD plugs. Display port plugs, I'll show because you can't hook up, um, so you have to hook up one of these. Um, into it. Now, I'm a bit disappointed. They could have created one with, um, say, like that will go into there, right? They could have created a plug that way there. It goes into there like that, right? But you cannot hook up, say, a normal. This type of like the HDMI plug, you should. I think that's where I think they let it down a little bit on these cards. That's the only thing. Other than that, what a beautiful card. I love this. They've done. They've actually improved this, which is good. Um, the other one, you can still see almost the components. I won't rip the eye off the moment. Uh, as you know, there's cross for crossfire and other things. Everybody else has probably seen all this. Anything new on the card? Nothing new. Where's that switch? Uh huh. They still have that switch there. 
I think that switch is this one here. You can see that little switch there. That there. To there. So that's, I think, if we cross fire or something like that. Except, I don't know, quite sure. But other than that, that is one beautiful card. Well, my name is Wolf, the Wolf 007. I'm going to sign off. And uh, you'll have a nice day. I've got a lot of testing to do yet. Yeah, I've got to switch everything off. Um, I've got to then sort out where I'm going to try to put everything. I think I've got some of the wires I might need, extra leads I might need in one of the boxes I've got, or plug that I might need that I can convert, extend it all the way to the all the way to the TV. I've got to remove everything off the desk, turn the three monitors around rewire them um, how I want it tie it all up with cable ties I haven't done that yet and then pull apart the the computer because especially I can't get to the computer at the moment why the mon see how the monitor is set up and then I've got to pull out the graphics card of that and then I've got to put this big monster into it wire everything up if I can wire everything up how I want it to and get it going well if you notice this little thing here that's the edge of that three monitor set up there. I'll quickly show it to you why I'm here. I've got time I think. Okay. This is what I'm running now. Okay, this is the first monitor. I'll zoom out if we can. Okay, that's the first monitor. That's the TV I'm gonna figure out how to hook up back up to it, which is a H uh, LG 42 inch TV coming up to the second monster uh, monitor and then coming up to the third monitor and the one on the back there is my 24 inch monitor and that's the computer I've got to pull the out other than that that's the system now this mouse is good but I end up breaking this button off here it still works but it uh, a bit fussy uh, can still click down on it. Just got to make sure it's the right spot. I had to use a bit of tape just to hold the button next. It just came apart. Other than that, the mouse is pretty good. But that's uh, that's the microphone I'm using at the moment. Love this mic. Fantastic mic. Well, anyway, this is the for 007 signing off. As you said before, I've got to do all the wiring. And um, you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Good day, YouTubers, and yeah, my name is Lee Wolf 007. Welcome to the PC World at Lex Cotton and the Box Sport. Now, I've just finished running my benchmarks test, um, which is uh, interesting. On the first run, I ran it with um, flux running in the background, um, recording it. I think it wasn't too happy about the test result because what I've got here is the new HD, uh, is HD 797. As you can see, this test results a lot better. Um, it's 35.1 frames per second. The score is 883. It's um, minor, minimum frames per second, 21.9. Excuse me, max is uh, 20, that's uh, 71, 72.1. So that is not too bad. Um, for what, what it's running is uh, running at the resolution mode is full screen 58 96 by 1080. Now, when I well, first got this set up, I've done this set up and I had my 6970 graphics card. It was telling me my resolution was, the mode was my previous benchmarking videos, was 5884 by 1080. Now, Linus Detectors, he's the he's one who's controlling what is his video is 59.8. Going off the Samsung um, website, going off uh PC case we were we were bought it from, the resolution the mode for the resolution should be 57 uh, it's got me stumped. I'll save this and um, yeah, and we'll go from there. Well, thank you for watching. We'll have a nice day.